right, so welcome back to the Chop Up. We are episode 34. We're out here at Oregon Design Company. Gresham, Oregon. Yeah, so we're here with Cam and Nolan. What's going on, guys? Cam, what's happening? How you doing? Doing good. Good to see doing you again. Good. You too, man. Yeah. Good to see you too. Welcome right to on. Oregon Design Co. Hell yeah. This, this is the spot. Yeah, yeah, no problem. The new shop. This is it, man. This it is looks, it. So, uh, it looks great. Office space in here. This is where all the magic printing happens and design work. Okay. And then um, out here in the shop is where all the install goes down. Oh, yeah. So. Who's, uh, who's back here? So back here, this is, uh, this is Nolan. He's our lead designer down Nolan, here. Nolan, what's up? He's the guy that makes all the cool yeah, stuff nice to meet for you. us. Yeah, Jordan, right nice on. Yeah. So Nolan works on it, and then you guys are printing everything here. Uh, yeah, so okay. Nolan, Nolan designs, designs them up, it all, and then... does the mock-ups, and okay. then we print. I mean, Nolan, for you, it's probably cool because you, you see it go from computer to car and drive out of here, and you're like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah, it turned oh, yeah. out good. Yeah. Like, I could never do web design because yeah. to me, like, I just, you, you never get a physical product, you know? Like, it's going to go up on the web. At some point, someone's going to redesign it, and it's freaking gone, you know? Yeah. Like, so for yeah. even for, like, you, you know, to do the design and see it wrapped in a physical thing someone's driving around with, for sure. To me, that's cool. Yeah, so Perfect. I'll introduce cool. you to yeah. the team out cool. here. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah right on, man. Yep. This is Logan and Orion. Orion, um, right on. Yeah, nice to meet Logan's you Logan's our lead installer. Oh, yeah. Orion is our, our second down from him. And, cool. uh, and yeah, they're just busting out this, this van here. What we wanted to do was make sure that you could see everybody's stuff, you could see your tools, and then you could also see the designs up on the, up on the TV. Yeah, so... Cool. Um, Cool. We will, it took us a while to figure out what our best option was going to be, but we ended up using uh, Apple TVs on these guys so that we could stream live without like any interruption. We can go through and look at, and Nolan, when he's done finishing a yeah. design, can just drop something into this without uh, without having to come out here, load it, you know, hook up yeah. a USB or something like that. For sure. So, for example, this van that we're working on in the shop right now. We have a basically like a set panel, which is the back panel here. So we designated measurements for each side so that we would know exactly where those things need to land so that the guys don't have to like lay out the whole side of the van first. They gotcha. can just stick their top panel, make sure their measurements are right, and then and then run with it. And it's gonna be, you know, within a tolerance that is acceptable for the whole van wrap, That's right? Cool. We basically print everything take it upstairs, laminate it, trim it down, label it. These are some some logos. This guy's got a monster truck. So, we're going to go a stick monster truck. We're oh, going to go stick these logos on this guy's monster truck today. And really? they they've already been, you know, printed, laminated and then cut. Okay. And like a sticker would, right? Contour yeah. cut. Yeah. Um, and then we'll take these guys, tape them up, which we're going to put basically a a uh, application tape over the top of it yeah. so that we don't lose all these little sure. pieces and stuff. Yeah. Cool. All right. all right. Well, yeah, let's uh, let's sit down for a little bit and we'll cool. talk about some of the branding we did for you and, Perfect. and the RV and whatnot. So cool. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right. We're going to sit down, talk about design, the design work we did for you, but more importantly, what you guys are doing here and kind of doing in the whole wrap industry and, and how that ties into design. And, and to me, it's kind of this interesting, like full cir circle deal that I think a lot of people don't know about. Sure. Um, but yeah, stoked that you guys had us out. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm absolutely. glad you guys came out. This is going to be, this is awesome. Yeah. Cool. Let's, um, so we did some work for you. I, uh, how did you and I hook up? Do you even recall? Yeah. So I, one of the big things that I did when I first started um, was when I got the name Oregon Design Company, I was like, one, I was like, yes. How did I get <laughs> On the this? way over here, Jake, our videographer, is like, he's got the name. Like, that was a good call. Or yeah, you were talking we were about, talking yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I went on Instagram, and I was like, it's available on Instagram. Let's go. Like, it's That's the first and place then, to start. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> it's available on Facebook. Nobody has the business name. I was like, what holy shit. Like, this is... <laughs> Excuse my language. I don't know if I yeah, can. No, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, was like, day, yeah. I was like, oh my god! Like, how is this available, right? Yeah. And so I, obviously, snagged it up, registered the business name, did all that because I always, I always struggled with my own branding and what what would I call things? I used to be called Cam Creative before Oregon Design Co., which is like the worst name, you know. <laughs> just like I, I, I don't want my name to be in it. It's yeah. like just not, you it's know. Always. But it was when we're in school, it's like you have to come up with a name, blah blah blah. So. 
um, when I got that. And then what I did was I would go through and I just started following all of these places in Portland, yeah. like Lincoln design, like all of the, yeah. all of the, uh, bigger names in design where I thought if we're going to do raps and, uh, these are the kind of people that I want to work with so that we can like start to build this brand and this sure. name. And, um, and I think I just reached out to you on Instagram and I was I like, those, Hey, yeah. how much do you charge? You know? Yep. And, um, and really deep down, I was like, I probably can't afford this guy, you know? <laughs> but when you came back to us, I was like, you know, that's actually pretty reasonable. Yeah. And, uh, and I was like, I don't think I have it right now, but I was like, I'll, I'll save up and I'll do this, you yep. know? And, uh, and you were like, Hey, what if you wrap my truck? We do some trade work. And then yep. from there it was, it was the ball started rolling. So, yeah. um, and I actually, it's funny because I use that technique a lot more to work with people yep. and like gain future clientele. than I do like call and say, Hey, do you guys need your work done? Yeah. I call places. I go, Hey, you know what? I need to get something done. Um, can you guys do it for us? Yeah. You know, become yeah. somebody's customer before yeah, they before. become yours, you know? Yeah, and absolutely. I think that's been, uh, that's been huge for us in working for like all kinds of different companies. That, that's cool. That, uh, Cre creates a good relationship. Yeah. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Um, and, and people know that I'm not just out there trying to take, you know, just trying to make money off of mm -hmm. them. I actually want to, like said, I, it was a big goal for me to work with these different types of companies, so, including mm -hmm. yourself. So, yeah. um, so that's what I did early on. And that was kind of my, like my grassroots marketing, my guerrilla marketing that I, that I would, that I would try to do to build the company up, to build the brand. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's great. For sure. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, yeah. So you reached out, I was like, Hey, yeah, let's do this. Let's figure it out. Um, so you wanted a badge kit. You were kind of yep. like, I want, you know, a bunch of different logos that I can use in different places, you know? Um, so, and then you sent us over, this image, which yep. is basically some of the tools you guys use to apply the wraps and everything, which was cool. This is the stuff from a client that like we asked for, mm -hmm. try and get from everybody. Like, you know, what are the elements? Yeah, what are the yeah. things you can pull you from? Know? You know? Exactly. Um, we have a client right now that we're, we're about to start a project with that they just have their name and we're like, well, you guys have any taglines? Do you have any other copy? Like even if it's established or or whatever we need some kind of filler yeah. type you know to actually build out say a badge kit or whatever um this one client now is like no we just have the name it's like fuck this is gonna be tough uh -huh. you know <laughs> yeah. uh, what yeah. do you believe in yeah yeah it's your favorite yeah. animal yeah. 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 <laughs> so Something. when we get stuff like this and you send photos and and you actually have products and things that you use whether it's a tape measure you know the gloves you guys use um heat guns we're like okay cool you know we can uh, we can Something illustrate those, yeah, yeah. We can work with that, you know. And then and then pulling the inspiration from other pieces that we've worked on in the past. Like yep. he he has examples of clients that we've used and done work yep. for, and he said that he liked those. So you know that yeah. gives us a real nice foot into uh, coming up with graphics that kind of align with his taste and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. always helpful to get like reference images and things. Yeah. To kick it off. Yeah, we see you know the Mama Sauce kit that we did, which you kind of referenced. It's like yep. right away everybody's kind of like, okay, I kind of get, get you know, the where style, this is where going. Yeah, headed, yeah, you know, before it even starts. So well, one of them that uh, that stood out to me a lot was we did some work for Gallagher. Uh, oh, yeah. This was you yep. know pre-COVID stuff, but Jordan's yeah, um, yeah, wife worked there. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. That. Yeah. And uh, we, we did them. like yeah. this big psychedelic trailer for him for nice. a burning man kind of yeah oh, i remember yeah. that yeah, okay. she actually worked on that project oh did yeah. she okay yeah. cool we did all these like chromes on the inside uh -huh. it was fun it yeah. was a cool project and the, what stood out to me the most was their branding when i got there like the tiger and the like do cool yeah, shit and cool. i was yeah, like yeah. i was like yeah fuck yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> this is, i want to i want that yeah, yeah i want yeah. yeah i mean and part of it is like you can have a little bit of attitude in our in our industry. Like Absolutely. you don't have to yep. be so clean cut about everything that you do. So yep. I mean we try to embrace that like to this like, day. We yeah. have fun with it and and mm -hmm. and have a little you know, show a little bit of that kind of like you guys. You yeah. guys are definitely you have that that you know, that liquid death style, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, like yep, that's yeah. that's the stuff that you roll yep. with which is which is super cool. Like and I wanted to embrace that. Yeah. So Cool. Oh, cool. That's yeah. awesome. It was, it was definitely a fun, fun project. Yeah, we so. were stoked to work on it. Sure. Yep. 
So let's roll through these real quick because I want to get into the design part of this whole of everybody's background and, sure. and stuff a little bit. So uh, saw that eagle on a t-shirt over bad, there. Yep, yeah, yeah. kit. <laughs> Still we come in here. Those. Yeah, this oh, is. Um, so we talked about this on the way down here too. Um, you know, you guys have taken this stuff and put it to use. Whether it's cutting out, of, cutting it out of metal signs, whether it's a giant thing on your table here. You yep. know, the graphics that we yep. guys did for you guys show up all over. You know, We're which both is rock on that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jackets, it's like stole you know. this monogram out of yeah. one of these. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. You did. exactly. So, so it's it's cool to see. Um, so we took these in a bunch of different directions. Um, I think it was you, Davey, and Dustin that yep. actually worked on this. Yep. So. Yep, this is Jordan's page of, of graphics here. Um, I know you guys were pretty pumped on the the uh, tape measure at yep. one point. Mm -hmm. Seen this one around. Yep, yeah, the yep. top top middle one. You guys are using it on your signage and everything, which is cool to see. Yeah, what we found is that it worked really well on vehicles, like the length of it and the yep. height of it. It yep, fit really good like shape. on mm -hmm. the doors, mm -hmm. and um, and it was just a solid shape. I do every once in a while. People ask me if I like am a chainsaw company, yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm like, ah, totally. you know, close yeah, enough, yeah, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, and then the one that we really used early on was the simple Oregon Design yeah, yeah. Co. That second one up or the one up from the tape measure there. Yep. Um, I love the tape measure one as like something to use besides a logo, you mm -hmm. know. And I think that's what we were really looking for is like other options you know what can we what can we use to start to grow a brand that's solid and i i can't design for myself kind of shows like, a little bit more like the illustration side of what we can do too yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Yep. exactly Absolutely. exactly yep. yeah and then we did the eagle ones and we're still like i'll probably do another run of those just nice. because everybody loved that and the, like i said the attitude that mm -hmm. comes along with with yeah. that so there was actually a bald eagle flying out oh, back what? in the shop earlier this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, Sick. which is kind of cool. Got your own little mascot cool. there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, exactly. I still trip out on that. Coming from uh, California to San Diego when I first moved up here, we were out on the river one one day, and there was three of them up in a tree. And I'm oh, like, yeah. what the fuck? I'm like, I've never even seen a bald eagle, <laughs> yeah. and there's three up there. And like, you hear them, and they sound just like the sound effect. Like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> like that crazy thing. You're like, what? Was yeah, that real? it's the real deal. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like America, baby. Yeah, it's yeah. heavy. Yeah. Um, but that's why we love the Pacific Northwest. So. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, so moving on this next page, this big old uh, cutter. I see yeah. in the middle of your table. Yeah. Like, that's yep. sick. Uh, right that's, on the cutting table, too. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I mean, that was why we, we stuck it there, you know, just because mm -hmm. we wanted to. I think we used, like, a more simplified version for this just yep. because when it was fully printed. Yeah. Yeah, we, just, you know, worked with colors or mm -hmm. whatever, but it is it is what you guys did. Yeah, and the, line, it, uh, the line art's there. For it sure. worked perfect for, like I said, it's a cut table. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So you the, you what cutter, else, you know? Yeah. Put it on there. Let's do this, yep. right? Get it on the head. Um, there's and, the monogram too. Yeah, there's yeah. the monogram, and yep. then yep. that one straight up from that is what we've we've it's used on, the on all yeah, the embroidery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> like them a lot. It works well as like a stitch too. Oh, yeah. You know, it's yeah. simple yeah. artwork. So. Exactly. Um, and so we we have, like I said, we've used a lot of these, and we still use them all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, That's cool. Um, it's good to see. Yeah, we have another one that if you go back to the page one there that this yep. one here we're actually going to be using uh for outside signage we just simplified oh, nice. it yep. so that it could be cut nice. yeah. um, yep. and that's what's going to go outside there right. so okay. that's um, cool. slick yep. yeah and just an all black version of that we're going to put one on the front and one on the side and i yep. think it's uh it's solid it's it's one of those things where each of these that we use, we've kind of used them in different scenarios. Mm -hmm. But I had that one in front of my old building, the last shop we're at, and I really liked how it looked. Yeah, I liked yeah. the way it presented in front of the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Timeless. it's almost kind of that like old school banner style. Mm -hmm. um, totally. And it uh, it it really like I, people dug it, and I think it it gave that good presence when you walk in. So, yeah. and what we were actually talking about this earlier is all the stuff that you guys did for us was like so bold and like strong you know right. and we've we've created tons of different designs and things that we put on shirts and and stickers i mean we print stickers like so we just printed a, a hundred stickers yeah, before you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. had a big old so, yeah, always sticker cranking. Sheet. Yeah. yeah so we've done a little bit of all of it but we still fall back on a lot of the designs that you guys have done just because of how they can be simplified and still be super effective yeah, and and yeah. they're bold and and 
you it's know, cool the to solid hear. stuff. Yeah. Saves me a lot of time. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, it was fun. Super fun project. And then, like I said, it's always great to see you guys putting it to use. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Super stoked. Sure. Um, so let's move on. So outside, we drove the mobile, what we call the mobile design unit here, the, the yeah. RV. So you guys wrapped the RV for us. Yep. Um, so this image is what the RV looked like uh, before we picked it up before I actually got it um, and so I was like okay you know how to to me like I mean you know Nolan I was kind of like okay how do I even start this process I've kind of done wraps in the past and I had a motorhome in, in San Diego as well that was wrapped um, but I'm like okay here's what it looks like here's a bunch of basically Lincoln badges at the bottom you know that I kind of sit back and look at and go okay what's what's gonna be the big focal point what logo do I want to use because like everybody everybody knows we just kind of have a shit ton of logos and don't 100% right. commit to anything. Um, that's kind of what we do. So I think that's the best way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So people Peace know, people situation. get it. You know, yeah, the brand is kind of the style less right. than yep. the one specific that's logo. Yeah. yeah. So I, I started here, um, and then I went picked up the motorhome. So that's actually the motorhome before it was wrapped. And then just kind of started laying out different gra graphics, how they're going to look. I wanted like a bit of retro to it with like a big stripe, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I did know that I wanted it green. I've had a trailer that was wrapped in matte gray. Then we had one in, in San Diego that was like blue and white. So I'm like, I kind of want this army green, you know, uh, wrap to this thing. So for sure. Started laying it out in Illustrator, um, different options, big logo, small logo. Wanted the the keep searching, creeping to creeper dude somewhere. Um, so just here's a couple different options. Nice. And then boom, dropped it off here. I was, I mean, honestly, man, the the whole rap thing is like kind of mind boggling to me <laughs> for it to go from that like shitty cream. To, <laughs> you know what I mean? To, to be like something like, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. such a rat. Like when you drop it off and you come back, you're like, holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Totally different vehicle, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but you guys crushed it. So super stoked. This was the actual file I think I sent to you, which you guys probably just like go to this is fucking jacked. Cause, <laughs> Cause it's just an illustrator file Whoa. that I drew over the actual photo. I, tried to take completely flat at the side yep. you know what i mean yep. so For you guys sure. probably got to tear this whole thing apart because right, it's like not this easy wasn't get... a perfect a uh, vector mock-up that dan had you know like he just had <laughs> an image that he was drawing over yeah. top of you yeah know? because do you guys i know with like certain vans you can actually get the illustrator file of the van you yeah, know, somewhat, side. yeah yeah um or maybe I couldn't you guys have anything. even built some out for some templates yeah it's, it kind of depends on the vehicle i mean we we use some websites that have templates you know okay. that are just provided their 10th scale templates gotcha you know so you kind of start from there and it's they got built-in masks in them and stuff so you can kind of okay. throw your designs right on top mm -hmm. or just yeah. work everything around it's super simple yeah um, but a lot of cars like i mean stuff like this it doesn't have a template at all so you kind of yeah. have to go out there and just get some base measurements and kind of just like it. know where your squares yeah. are at and yeah. stuff and yeah. exactly you know, yeah. just, just send it on there yeah and, that's cool yeah. yeah for us like when i first see see something like this I instantly start thinking about like okay how exactly do we accomplish this like mm -hmm. what what are how are we gonna split it because it's a big vehicle yeah so I'm like how do we split this thing up where are we going to like and and luckily you already in most motorhomes kind of have like that line yeah, right so do. I've yep. raised your graphics up yeah so that we could wrap the entire bottom of it black yeah and then we could we could uh, incorporate the black line into the pre-existing. So we did the whole top in green, the whole bottom section in black, and then I started laying graphics out over the top of that. Just for anybody listening at home, this context is, um, you know, what, where Dan has like the full flooded green and then there's black actual cut vinyl on top. So it's like multiple layers of different art, you know, yeah. taking one piece and then putting something else on top of it to achieve this look mm -hmm. instead of like something you'll see behind us, which is printed fully yep. in panels that is then stitched together with the designs lining yep. up. Yeah, zero printing. Yeah, all exactly. All no cut printing, yeah, all cut, cut vinyl. vinyl. And yep. then even like with the front here, yep. how your snake goes into into the stripe. Yep. I was like, well, man, do I cut that stripe with that logo? So I didn't. I did the same thing. I basically put the logo there first yep. and then hand laid out knifeless tape and then put the stripe over the top of it so we could cut it to fit perfect. To fit. So that way I didn't have to like 
when you're looking at a big motorhome like this, especially because you don't have a template, I instantly start going into, okay, like how do we use the least amount of material and have the yeah. least amount of waste? And then how, how do I actually accomplish these? things yeah. right but it's that was form in a way yeah, yeah you got to figure yeah. it out it's a big it's a puzzle. Big breaking puzzle. it down yeah. is like one yeah. of the hardest parts where yeah. like we get something in like this van in here we use templates we design yeah. it out yeah. um and it's a lot simpler because you know that's there's a lot of them yeah there's like you said there's no template for this yeah yeah motor home yeah. so yeah. i mean these have a lot more body lines on them too and a lot more yeah. you know movable parts and stuff yeah, so it does make it a little bit easier true but it turned out amazing, man. Oh, yeah. There's a photo of us on our first, uh, oh, our first trip up to Spokane. Yeah. So I pulled up at your own, your old shop that night. And just took night. it, right? Yeah, but you were, you were like well, working on it up until the, till till the timeline. Yeah, came yeah. like eight or nine that night. Yeah. Picked it up. You <laughs> yeah. guys were dude, there like cleaning some things off. And yeah, yeah we already had plans for the mobile design unit. We're like so stoked oh, to yeah, get this we're thing We're like, out we're going, we're going. And Cam's like, dude, I'm gonna, it's going to come down right to the end. Like, you're going to have to come get this thing at nine o'clock at night. I'm like, oh shit. All right. Whatever it takes. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Literally, our, like we were talking about earlier, our shop was so, the door was too small. Was so too we had to pull the AC <laughs> units off the roof to get it into the shop. Yeah. And, and we had did just we, gotten it. we deflate the tires a little bit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And stood on it. Did deflate the tires. Wild. We had, we had, yeah, we just had to do whatever we could to get it in there. And then, yeah, I think we were, we were like pulled it out and we're airing the tires back mm -hmm. up and That's putting the it, AC unit yeah, on. Yeah, the pressure out there. I'm like, what's going on? You're like, we're putting air in the tires. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Drop it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But super stoked on how it turned out. Um, we've been using oh, it for, yeah, for a bunch of different trips. So excited about that. We're going to have it at the One Moto Show. Good. Um, coming yeah. up in, in end of April. So that'll be inside this their big event center so it'll be cool we had it at designer con too and and everybody was loving that yeah pulled inside, it in, the inside the building. Yeah, yeah. convention center um which was cool but it turned into a great backdrop for us you know we just pulled up the thing yeah. set up our merch and boom everybody was yeah. stoked yeah. yeah yeah it was cool we had a couple meetings inside yeah. um, during designer con yep. we filmed a, a chop up little episode in there as well nice. during the show so nice. yeah so it's cool. It's worked out great. It's been a great, you know, company tool. And then we got shit like this where Damaso <laughs> draws, random. you know, does an illustration of it. Yeah. We've yeah, animated it. Yeah. 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 Road. So yeah, it becomes, you know, mascot of the company in a way. So that's awesome. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. That's it's awesome. cool. Yeah. So yeah. So those are, you know, a couple of things we've worked on together, um, yeah. which is, which has been super fun, super rad. Um, I want to dig into your, your guys' background. So Nolan sure. designer here, you do yeah. all the design work. Yep um cam owns the company set it up and everything so if we can just dig in a little bit to where you guys came from and kind of what you do here because you know i went to college <clears throat> during college i've talked about i worked at a sign company mm -hmm. um i think that was like an invaluable experience that i had just with like typography installing vinyl stuff like that mm -hmm. um you know going to design school just really it, it sat in the same lane um, I think a lot of kids that come out of design school, they're, they're set on like, you know, I'm going to be a, an apparel designer. I'm going to go work for a studio. I'm going to go to this place and be an in-house designer. And some of them forget about this whole industry. For sure. And there's super cool shit that you can do like in the either whether it's sign or vehicle wraps or, or anything like that. Like to me, it's it's a cool industry that I think people forget about. You know? For sure. Sure. Yeah, definitely. You can start. yeah I mean, uh, I mean, we both uh, come from the same school. We both went to Chemeketa. Uh, that's okay. how we met actually um, I was a year above him in a graduating class wise but um, but yeah that's how we met and then I actually right out of college I worked at like a FedEx office for a while just okay. kind of get my foot somewhat in the door of printing yeah. and you know design so yeah. that's cool um, though yeah I mean, I yeah. Think, yeah I mean yeah I learned yeah. a lot you know so I learned a lot about just just paper print you know mm -hmm. just like really generic paper printing too for everyday joes so Absolutely. that was pretty cool um and then after that i actually went straight into this field so like my first real graphic designer in-house designer job was at a sign and wrap shop wow. so okay. i've been doing this stuff for i mean probably like five or six years now you know yeah. so awesome. i mean i've definitely got a kind of hang of it over time yeah, you know for like, sure. i'm That's definitely cool. learning stuff every day you know yeah. um like even now i think my process is completely different than when you know i first started learning this stuff but i mean yep. when i first started there was just youtube videos basically you yeah, know yeah. to figure out how to do this and For back sure. then i was also installing too so i mean i've i've had my hands in pretty much every part of the industry so far and uh yeah it's been pretty fun i've, I've kind of become really passionate about it you know and 
it's kind of my thing now. So it's kind of cool. I mean, before I didn't even I didn't even know this was a thing. Either, right. You know, right. you can make a career doing this. Yeah, right? exactly. I I you know applied for a sign shop job and guys like well we're, we're kind of getting into raps and stuff like this and he showed me what raps are and my yeah. mind was like oh shit, yeah. here we go yeah. and then yeah. and here we are you know years yeah. later doing you know full-on designs for that's cool. startup companies and talking to you guys so yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, that's pretty rad. cool yeah. <laughs> yeah that's awesome yeah, yeah. yeah. hell yeah well I th- it's like super complex package design yeah absolutely you know? and that's it is kind it's of, a moving package yeah, yeah. it's yeah. how it how mm-hmm. i started to like really look at it early on was like man we're there's no box template that they, they're not going to send me like a little die cut <laughs> right. out for this yeah. thing. Yeah. I have to really figure it out. And, and Some geometry I, yeah, involved and stuff. we have yeah. like the pleasure of doing fun stuff too, like this dragster yeah, that we're doing. Behind us. Um, and we've done like a lot of custom stuff like your motorhome where it's not, there is no template, mm-hmm. you know? So we love the ones that we can use a template on, you know, <laughs> right. it's nice. It yeah. definitely makes our whole workflow a little bit easier. But I think part of the custom stuff is like, that's what really keeps it fun too. Yeah. You know, we get to yeah. enjoy all these different um, kind of projects and half the time they're like not worth the money that you get paid to do them or whatever <laughs> it is, but it, it keeps everything fun. And, and maybe yeah. the next time you do it, you learned enough about that first one <laughs> yeah. that you can make money on the second yeah, one. Yeah, exactly, right? yeah. exactly. You yeah. try to, you yeah. know, so that's the, uh, that's the cool part I think mm-hmm. is like, always changing always yeah. something fun and and we both kind of have a passion for customized cars and stuff yeah. kind of always have i mean even when i was a kid i was customizing my rc cars and all yeah. that kind of stuff so now being able to do it in real time and seeing the whole process is pretty sick so. yeah that's cool yeah. transform something from something totally yeah. new and into yeah. something yeah, exactly never seen before and we get to we have like a good rapport with each other especially when we went to school together you yeah, know so cool. we can kind of like say like dude that sucks mm-hmm. right <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. like hey yeah. let's let's get back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. and just try just, to like it pushes the design though you know exactly. that's important you can't Absolutely. just not everything's rainbows you know yeah. so, like, uh-huh. that's kind of that's the good thing about working here compared to where i worked before i mean i've this is the first time i really worked with people with design background yeah. like before yeah. i was kind of the only designer mm-hmm. at places so it's like yeah it looks good to me sure, right. sure. you know yeah. but yeah. now yeah. i can actually bounce ideas off cam we yeah. can kind of go back and forth on things yeah. and kind of yeah. create something that's like both of our minds you know yeah. rather than just what i think might be cool you know awesome. <laughs> yeah. that's cool that's great yeah. 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 that's what's great about having the studio of, of all of us in there mm-hmm. i'm like reach over hey what do you think <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah 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 and so that's why i'm big on like uh i think the work at home can only go so far you know, oh, for like sure. In our industry, I think there for are sure. some industries that you know maybe working from home, cool. Maybe it works. You know, for sure. if you're in accounting or, or whatever. Um, but in design, like when we have, we we do three days at the office, and those days, like more shit gets accomplished, or what we're working on spins in a different direction that it would have never have mm-hmm. if we weren't all in the same room. Kinda, yeah, yeah. You know, Makes the work shoot better. ideas back and forth. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I think that was when I first started this business. I was like. It was just me. It's by myself. It was like the most lonely, boring time of <laughs> my life. Tough, yeah. I was like, man, I saw I'd just be sending like designs to friends. Like, what do you think? Like, you know, and just trying to come up with like, come up with uh, something that was cool at the time was hard to mm-hmm. do. You start getting stuck in this world. And then, you know, as we've like built the team down here, we're all like pretty tight knit. So it makes it cool to be able to like, have those conversations with guys walk over and be like hey you know because we've never really shut anything down we've just kept rolling as far as our crew down we're pretty mm-hmm. small we don't have yeah. like a 20 guy office we're like sure. all right work from home yeah. it was <laughs> it's always been like hey no you got to be here yeah if we all like if we're still going to pay the bills mm-hmm. we got to be down yeah. here it's like a family you know? yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and then um so it's it's been really cool in that perspective because we do get to have fun we get to have those design conversations we get to have all of that that you know when you're really small first starting you really don't get mm-hmm. the yeah. pleasure of having so for yeah. sure so okay. it's uh it's been it's been fun to grow and, and become better at mm-hmm. you know every everything that we do you know it comes all the way down to installers too we'll be like hey get in here what do you guys think what's our you know do you dig this is it stupid is it bad you know like because we we still like to make sure everybody's part of it and then also like how do we install this if we do do this right you know (laughs) like where does this land and and talk about the realistics of this yeah (laughs) and and that's a uh, part of it too is like you know 
there's some things that are, I don't want to say things that are impossible, but there are things that would definitely make installing a vehicle wrap a lot harder, you mm -hmm. know? And so we try to work to not only do good design, but to make it easy to install. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so that's, you know, all of those kind of come into play for us. Yeah. That makes sense. And that's what's nice about having both of us have a install background too. Yeah. And it's like cool. we can both yeah. wrap things. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, he doesn't nice. care most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time he's like, it's not my problem. Like, yeah. I'm like the last line of defense <laughs> yeah, yeah, in that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, like, that design is done. I'm, yeah. I'm the yeah, last person like, to wrap things. Like, to put on. I'm like, how are we going to install one, that? Yeah. He's like, that's not my problem. Sounds like yeah. a you problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's, yeah, that's yeah. most of yeah. the time. Yeah. But, well, I think what you guys are doing different here shows in the whole design, the whole from A to Z and the design work is great. Um, and I think the reason for that is you both came from design backgrounds. For sure. I mean, to your for point, sure. Nolan, you worked at a shop that the guy owning the shop had no interest in design, right? right. Yeah. And I feel like there's a lot of like sign companies and places like that out there that are kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Either they were a production guy that's like, oh, I can make money doing this. I'm going to mm -hmm. start my own company. Mm -hmm. But a mm -hmm. lot of them are not backed or run or owned by a designer, mm -hmm. you know, um, sure. per se, where you are, you know, you came from that background. So you're always going to have this eye for, for, you know, the final product needs to look good design wise. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I think that's a, a big difference. Um, and then you're like, just the fact recently you guys did the auto show Yeah. in yep. uh, Portland yep. and you guys took, it was two two of them right two um yeah so uh, broncos so we had no i had my truck down there because oh, okay. we yep. had just finished the wrap and then um and then i had a brand new bronco from the guys at gresham ford um which was very difficult to find <laughs> nobody <laughs> nobody there, really yeah. wants to give away their bronco so luckily totally. we we have a relationship with those guys and then we uh yeah, we took it down there and just did a different design and wrap on it every day. You wrapped wow. and unwrapped mm -hmm. uh, the Bronco yep. every day. That's yep. crazy. And yeah. we, we didn't do full wraps, which helped us a yeah. lot. You know, we did sure. what we were really trying to do was show like what's possible, right? Like yep. if you buy a Bronco, Broncos are going to be the next Jeep. Mm -hmm. Right. So For there's sure. going to be there's going to be a million of them literally cruising around, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and you're going to be like, well, how do I customize this? Make how do I make own. it my own? Mm -hmm. yep. Which you already see in the aftermarket industry forum is everybody, you know, that's what they're for. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, they didn't design them to be like a luxury rig. Right. They want people to buy the base model and trick it out, mm -hmm. sure. you know? Yeah. Um, so, so our goal was to show like, we wanted to go all in on like the theme, you know, how do we design this so that, um, so that it's like, one do some old school nods let's do some some stuff that is really actually possible what you know mm -hmm. rather than being like let's do some crazy rap on it that maybe nobody's ever gonna put on there right you know yeah. so yeah. we did like the woody's theme uh red and white theme mm -hmm. um we That's did cool. like the old school gradient look uh which was the gresham ford one that we did mm -hmm. and then uh, and then we finished it with a design that was like kind of a nod to um to the there. newer yeah. Bronco like race car. You can buy a Bronco race car from factory, right? So we wanted to do one oh, that shit. was kind of a, uh, you know, a nod towards that. Cool. Cool. Something a little yeah. more modern. And now yeah. it's rolling around town with that one. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They kept it? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's cool. cool. Right on. Yeah. Um, no, it's cool. I was stoked to see that. I watched it on Instagram throughout the weekend, and I was like, oh, shit, these guys are wrapping and unwrapping yeah it was fun over it, was over. it kept people engaged you I'm know sure especially did, yeah. like the other business owners down there with their booths they're like every yeah. day rolling by like what'd you guys do today yeah, you know and, cool. and so we even printed out like wheels that you could you could buy so we want we went on like black rhino and 1552 and like popular wheel uh styles that somebody might put on their bronco yeah and we printed them and stuck them over the top of the wheel so you could see you like a feel for it yeah if you oh, do this cool. two-tone yeah. look yeah you could put these wheels yeah. on it yeah. and it, you would have the whole theme mm -hmm. you'd have the whole look great that's idea. cool yeah. you know yeah, so great that's, cool. idea. that's a smart idea yeah totally yeah so no, it was fun cool. it was yeah. fun it was exhausting but it was fun right? <laughs> yeah. totally worth it in the end i'm sure yeah. you guys do the the designer con oh dude the trade shows those, are just yeah they're, they're so ruthless. fun but so exhausting yeah, yeah. you, you leave there inspired the but the tired yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah just all day interaction with yeah. people at the end of the day you're just like damn you know but it's so much fun yeah yeah well cool man i appreciate you having us out yeah um we dig what you guys are doing um and yeah we're stoked to work with you guys on that whole kit and good no man yeah. and 
it's it's been awesome i think it changed um it changed my business and like the trajectory right out the gate like even though i was you know i was nobody at that time you know i was right. working by myself in this little shop sharing a shop and um and i think just the idea that i was working with lincoln design co on something like helped boost our image you That's know cool. from That's the get-go just because you guys have established such a you know you guys are a powerhouse of cool shit you know like uh so cool shit yeah it's your slogan right yeah Yeah. (laughs) it might be now but you know it's uh i think that really that really did help us early on and we still fall back to a lot of the like when we're looking through everything that we do and we're like all right what are we going to do for this project or like what are we going to do for the sign out front or whatever all the designs that you guys did are super solid you know and i think that uh Give, put it into the wrong hands to like 20 different designs is a disaster. Yeah, you know? Absolutely. Like, I'm just going to so, flip these sure. colors real quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. This year. Yeah, like you yeah, said, definitely. like with web design, yeah. like if you design website and then two years later it's been changed and next thing you know it's just gone. It's gone. It never yeah. existed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where what you guys do and is, is super cool and I think uh, um, it's, it definitely helped helped us grow to that point. Right where, on. Yeah. It's awesome to hear. It's great to hear. No, yeah, it's cool. been it's been awesome. So. Perfect. Cool. All right. We'll just wrap it up. We've been here for a while. Take yeah. up your time. You <laughs> no, gave you're us a all great good. tour and we got to meet all the guys doing the install and Nolan, it was cool to meet you. Yeah, and you too. Let you guys get back to work and cool. But thank you for thank having you. us. Yeah, thank, thank you guys. Time.